how to build all types of seventh chords on the piano. There are eight different types of seventh chords, and I'm going to cover all of them in this lesson. There's major seven, dominant seven, minor seven, diminished seven, half diminished, augmented seven, augmented major seven, and minor major seven. There are also two alterations which we'll discuss, which is the sus2 and sus4. Let's get to work. First step is to decide which note you're going to build your seventh chord on. Let's for simplicity pick C. The second step is to construct the major scale on that note. For C, the C major scale would be... The different notes on the scale have numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, which is actually 1. It's back to C. I'm going to give you the prescriptions for building each of the eight different types of seventh chords. To build the major seventh chord, play the first, third, fifth, and seventh degrees of the scale. This is a C major seven. To build, to play the dominant seven, sometimes it's just called the seventh chord, play the first, third, fifth, and flattened seven, meaning taking the seven and going one semitone down. So this is the flattened seven. So this is the C7 chord, or C dominant 7 chord. To play the minor 7 chord, play the 1st, flattened 3rd, 5th, flattened 7. To play the diminished 7, play the 1st, flattened 3rd, flattened 5th, and doubly flattened 7, meaning 2 semitones down. So start from the 7, and count one, two. This is the C diminished seventh chord. To play the half diminished chord, play one, flattened third, flattened fifth, and flattened seven. The augmented seventh chord is first, third, raised fifth, meaning take the fifth and go up one semitone, and the flattened seventh. So this is the C augmented 7. The C augmented major 7 is very similar to the augmented 7, only now you'll play the 1st, 3rd, raised 5th, and 7th. So just to contrast, this is the augmented 7, and now for the augmented major 7, just the 7th changes. Finally, to play the minor major 7th, play the 1st, flattened third, fifth, and seventh. Each of the different chord types has many, many different notations. Uh, it's just a convention that uh, has grown from many different places that had to be fused together. So there's really no way around just knowing all of the different notations for each of the chord types. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to list them all in a table for you to look at. You can pause the video and then memorize the different notations. There are also two alterations which we'll talk about, which are the sus2 and sus4. When a chord is uh, f a chord name is followed by sus2 or sus4, it means omit the third and play either two or four, depending on whether it's a sus2 or a sus4. Let me give you two examples. Let's look at the C7 sus4. So the C7 chord, also the C, also called the C dominant 7, is this. Once I add a sus4 at the end, I'm saying omit the third and play the fourth instead. So this is the C7 sus4. Let's look at another, another example. Let's play the C. Uh, major 7 sus2. So here is the C major 7 and the sus2 means don't play the third, play the second instead. So this is the C major 7 sus2. I'd like you to pause the video now and try to construct all eight different types of chords but on a different note. So start with D. Pause the video and 
then unpause it and I'm going to show you how each of the eight different core types are constructed. All right, let's play the eight different core types on D. First of all, we've chosen D. Second, we're going to construct the D major scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, we just follow the prescriptions. D major seven, one, three, five, seven. D dominant seven, one, three, five, flat and seven. D minor 7, 1, flat and 3rd, 5th, flat and 7. D diminished 7, D half diminished, D augmented 7, D augmented major 7, and finally, D minor major 7. Let's take two examples with the sus2 and sus4. Let's play a uh, D minor 7 sus2. So the D minor 7 would be this, and with the sus2, this would be the chord. So this is a D minor 7 sus2. A D minor 7 sus4 would be, once again starting from D minor 7, omit the third and play the fourth instead. That's all there is to it. There's a lot of memorization involved, but play them enough times and you'll find yourself remembering all eight of them. It's important to practice each chord form in all possible letters, I mean all possible keys. So, for example, pick the C major seven, and then construct the B major 7, B flat major 7, A major 7, B flat major 7, and so forth, until you're able to play immediately any chord type on any chord letter. So if somebody tells you, could you play the F minor major 7, you would say sure. Here it is. That's it for now, and I'll see you next time.